Welcome to Go Okanagan and happy Robbie Burns Day. As you can see, we are here at the Penticton Legion and I am all properly kitted out to take part in the annual celebration of Scotland's national poet. On the show tonight, we'll have some bagpipes, we'll have some dancing, and of course, we'll have some haggis. Well, when you're at a Robbie Burns night, it seems like haggis comes up an awful lot. And now we're talking to George Young, who's going to give the address to the haggis, right? That's right, yes. So, I have the honor of doing that. So what is the address to the haggis? What, what, what is that about? Well, it's addressing the haggis. It's, Fear for your only sons of face. Great chieftain of the pudding race. I bend them all, you attack your place. Faint strife or thermal. Or are you worth your grace as long as my arm? To the haggis! To the haggis! Slandy! Well, of course, you can't have a burned supper without supper. And so we've come back in the kitchen where Dawn is uh, cooking things up. What's on the menu tonight, Dawn? We have mashed potatoes, carrots, and turnip, and haggis. And haggis. Yeah. If people get, uh, maybe it's the name, maybe it's just how they look, but people have a funny kind of feeling about haggis, right? Right. right. Like it, but it's, yeah. you guys eat it all the time. Oh, I like it. I yeah? really like it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, a lot. it's surprising out there how many will eat it too. We use a sheep stomach. Right. We, we'll use the, if available, we use intestines and uh, kidney and liver and oatmeal and spices. Oatmeal? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes. So it's kind of like a sausage, but. Yes. But big and boiled. Well, these are these are depending on the size of the stomachs. Oh, okay. You know, so yeah. Wow. So um, if I stick around, I get to try that. Yes. Get to taste yeah, one? definitely. Yeah. What's it taste like? Yeah. Uh, Can you, is it anything? It tastes like a dressing, a little spiced up uh, turkey dressing. You know, a little spicy. Yeah. But it's. All right. Yep. Now we're talking to Brian Young, and you've got a couple of important jobs here tonight. Of course, you're piping, yes. you're going to be singing, yes. but most importantly, and the thing that we're holding you up from right now is yes. selling the tickets yeah. for the uh, <laughs> weed dram, yeah. the bar, yes. <laughs> now, I did overhear you talking about haggis, though. You said there's lots of different ways that you cook it up. You can deep fry it. You can fry it in a frying pan for breakfast in the morning, like you would black pudding. You can stuff a turkey, grab it as a turkey at Christmas time. Instead of stuffing, we have haggis. So oh, lots okay. of different ways you can eat it. Wow, okay. So, so tonight, though, I'm going to try the, the basic boiled. Basic steamed. Steamed. Steamed, I guess. Steamed, not boiled. You don't want to touch the water. It'll burst. Oh, okay. Yeah. It'd be handy to have around if I was going to make haggis. I'm always in the kitchen. <laughs> Well, here it is. They have just brought out the haggis from the kitchen. It's, uh, it smells all right. It smells good. Well, here we go. I've, ne I've never had a haggis before. I mean, I got Scottish ancestry. Never had a haggis. Okay, it's very, look at that. It's, it's very flaky. Here we go. Oh, it's an interesting texture. Like the oatmeal, I, I thought it would be more meaty, but uh, the, the texture of the oatmeal kind of adds to it. So it's almost like a porridgey kind of thing. Quite interesting. Just a subtle blend of spices. It's not bad. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I get the attraction. Oh, all right. Well, that's it for our show. We've. We've uh, had a pipe lesson, we've eaten some haggis. What more could you ask for? Well, that's right, a wee dram. Well, that'll come after we turn off the camera. I'd like to thank the Okanagan Caledonian Pipe Band and everybody for working so hard to put on this great, great night. That's it for the show. I'm Doug Brown. We'll see you next time on Go. You want some, Chris?